the thumbnail that I put out is absolutely true. I don't know if you believe this, but me being a man who understands what it means to be masculine can see that any guy that says I'm a bad boy or I'm an asshole it's not really that they are simply playing out another role that counteracts being nice it's amazing how many guys out there endorse endorse this bad boy type of behavior. Everybody's out there like, women want bad boys. Be a bad boy. Uh, don't be a nice guy, be a bad boy. Anytime that they're doing that, they're forgetting that bad boy in itself is a reaction to being a nice guy. That's what bad boy is. Any guy that's absolutely a nice guy, his drive and all of his energy will start to go to, I want to be a bad boy. I want to be the guy that excites women. I want to be the guy that women go for. And I've heard or I've seen or this guy said in his video that women like bad boys. So I don't want to be a nice guy, I want to be a bad boy. But I can tell you right now that trying to be a bad boy is simply giving you another image. That's what it is. Re nice guy is an image. But a bad boy is also an image. It's a reaction to being a nice guy. <clears throat> Any guy that actually is out there trying to play out these bad boy type of behaviors is gimmicks. That's what they are. I can see right through it. The reason why is because I'm coming from a place that's holistic. A place that's for real and that's masculine. And anybody that's coming from masculinity is coming just simply from awareness. That's simply what he's coming from. That's what it is in all of its essence. Masculinity is awareness. So the idea that I have to be a bad boy is actually going more into the reactive world. Everybody loves the reactive world because the reactive world shows that it has two sides of reality. Good, bad, right, wrong. And as these people come up against this, they go, okay, to say stuff like this, this is wrong. So I'm gonna say stuff like this because this is right. To act like this, this is not bad boy behavior. So I'm gonna act like this. They're always coming with this duality as far as these opposites, so to speak. And as they're dealing with these opposites, they want to be one or the other. And that's the same guy who is a nice guy. He wants to be that because that poses to him that he's sweet, that he cares, that he's loving, that women, um, re that he's respectful to women. It, it, it imposes all these different things that he don't interrupt them. He doesn't overstep the boundaries. It, it implies all these things. And then when you go bad boy, it, it, it implies that he's exciting, that he's confident, that he doesn't care what people think, that he's um, rude, that he's willing to say, that willing to fucking fight or stand up for himself. Whatever it is, you start to see these both sides and go, which one do I want? Do I want the nice guy or do I want the bad boy? And some guys have even went to the far extent to go, you know what, you can be the nice bad boy. They're heading in the most right direction, so to speak, or the, the direction that's going to be the most beneficial for the man. They're heading in the most right direction for this. Because now you put both together. And as you put both together, they actually cancel out. So one is not trying to be bad boy. One is not trying to be nice guy. He's trying to be both. So there's some guys out there who've been clever enough to be able to bring both together and to see that it's actually a mix of two. But I get you to do something that's much more even beneficial than that. And that is, don't look at nice guy as a thing and don't look at bad boy as a thing. Simply let them go because they're both reactions. And many guys that you know, let's talk about bad boy for a moment. Many guys, they start to go into this bad boy type of 
role and they start to buy the clothes to show it. They start to have the attitude that show it. And as they play out these roles and these attitudes for uh, this, so to speak, bad boy role, they go, this is the thing that uh, women find attractive, so I'm going to stay with this. And then with that, they're like, you know, even comes with this, you know, to, is to be a dick sometimes, to be an asshole. That's what comes with this. To be rude comes with this. And they enjoy it. Because guess what? That is the polar opposite of what they used to be. They used to be really nice and always accommodating, and always trying to make sure that the girl is taken care of and always trying to make sure that she feels a certain way, which is pleasant. They react to that and they don't want that ever again. And as they don't want that ever again, they just play out this other side, hard, 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 hard. And they go, yeah, man, I'm an asshole or this and this, and they feel good about it. And a guy can get so developed and so strong in that role that he really starts to believe that he's just that. And that's where you get the guys who are in the community where they're willing to go up to women, but they're not willing to care about what they feel. They go up to women and they're willing to play out these unpredictable type of ways, but they're not in any kind of, in any kind of way willing to show their vulnerability, show their heart, for real. Move away from trying to be this, because you were this. If you feel like you're really nice or you are being too nice in life, do not simply look at that and go, I have to be a bad boy. Because if you do that, you're simply moving into another image. That's what you're doing. You're shifting your images. And you're going, okay, if I be this image right here, I don't have to be this. Because this one here brings me pain. And I don't want the pain anymore. So I'll be the one that's been said that it's going to not give me pain that I'm not gonna care about what people think of me, that I'm gonna be able to be attracted to women, and you become, so to speak, attached to this. And that's why any guy out there who even say I'm a bad boy, I can guarantee you, if I stood in front of him, I could see through the cracks in him. Simply because I'm not identified with being nice or being bad. And you shouldn't either. Because the moment you try to identify with these reactions, you're gonna play out that role. And now you're playing out a role, so that means you're afraid that if you leave this role that you're going to something else that's not steady, that holds true for that, that women like. And now you haven't built something that's better, you've just built something that's avoiding what you used to be. That is the role that most men are playing now. They're trying to <clears throat> do whatever they can to be these bad boys. And I'm like, oh my God, that is the direction not that far away from nice guy. You're just trying to play the polar opposite simply because you don't want to be something. That's it. Yes, is it more attractive to be unpredictable? Yes. Is it more attractive to try to do these gimmicky type of things? Yes. Is it more attractive to show disinterest, show indifference. Yes, many of the times it is because it shows that you are not needy. But there's something even better for you than trying to do that. The different option is simply being masculine. This is the different option. You don't have to be even masculine if you don't want to be, really. Because now many guys try to move away from those two images and move into the image of being masculine. Simply not try to have any at any point. But I can tell you right now, the closest thing that's gonna get you to home on the inside, or the closest thing that's gonna get you to something that's real is being masculine. That's more real than, than being bad boy because a bad boy says that there is gimmicks. It says that you have to be certain things, you have to play out certain roles, you have to play out certain behaviors for things to happen. That's what it says. And what it means to be masculine is to not play out any role because I told you masculinity in itself is awareness, which is freedom. Masculinity in itself is stillness. Of course you have the other beautiful aspects of it, but that's what it is in itself. So that's why I say a masculine man is not a bad boy or a bad boy is not a masculine man simply because one is an image and the other one has no image. And that's what it is to be masculine. It is to not have any image. 
it is to be there in front of a woman and be nothingness. Someone that's a bad boy has to play out things when he's in front of a woman. He has to poke her like this. He has to say things like this. A man that's masculine is automatically unpredictable because guess what? He's only operating from spontaneity. That is unpredictable. Total freedom, that's a space of infinite possibility, which means that nothing is predicted. Why do you think I never say bad boy in my videos? I never say it and I will never say it. Maybe I'll say it because I'm trying to give you guys a point on something, but I don't ever induce, endorse guys to become that because I can simply see that it's, it's, it's a reaction to being a nice guy. It's a reaction to being too nice. You don't need it. You absolutely don't. Because guess what? Who has success and who don't say that or don't need it? Me. I've never had to play those behaviors out. Naturally, when a man starts to, so to speak, become more aware and he starts to disidentify from an image, he's going to become those things that he's trying to play out. He's going to become unpredictable. He's going to be able to say things that, that makes the woman arouse, but at the same time, it could piss her off. He's going to be able to say no. He's going to be able to not be clingy or needy because masculinity in itself is awareness, total freedom. There's no chance to be needy when you're total freedom because total freedom is not neediness. It's not clinging. It's not attachment. Anything that you're hoping that you are playing out being a bad boy, I can tell you right now, when you start to let go of what a bad boy means, you'll start to play those out because masculinity in itself has no image, which means that you only operate from nothingness, which is unpredictability. That in itself is attractive. When I'm in front of a woman, she doesn't know what I'm going to say. I don't even know what I'm going to say. That's what makes it exciting. I don't have to be this man that's trying to play out this this way like this and trying to poke her like this and trying to show that I'm disinterested or trying to say fuck you. Like I don't have to do those things. I do do those things if I'm playing around, but I don't have to do those things. Guys get this thing where they have to start to try to act like something. They have to start to try to act like something that's not them. And I can tell you right now, the moment that you start doing that, that's the moment where you move away from who you are. You move into another image. You move into something that you feel is going to get, get you away from the pain, but it's absolutely, absolutely not. What it's doing is building something else that you have to eventually let go anyway. And this is why anybody on my channel who do come to my channel, what I say is, totally allow yourself to be aware. When you're in front of women, allow yourself to not try to attach yourself to being nice or being bad. As a man, forget about what it means to be a bad boy. Forget about what it means to even be masculine. Operate simply from nothingness, and what you'll notice is that all the things that you're trying to play out will naturally come. You, do you guys think when I'm in front of a woman, I'm saying to her bad boy type of things? Look at what I'm saying. There's many guys out there who look at what the way I seduce women and they go, it looks boring, it looks like it's uninteresting, um, it's funny that you said this thing. And I'm seeing it through the lens of I'm acting like a bad boy. But I can tell you right now, in no way I am. And there's no way that I am. Because I don't care about it. I simply don't care about it because I know that it is not helpful. It doesn't give me the chance to really be there with a woman. A man who's actually playing out the bad boy role, when he's in front of a woman, he's actually closed off. Because anytime you're playing out a role, you're closed off to the person that's in front of you. And guys get used to this and they, and, they, and they like it and they love to see other channels out there that are guys who are just trying to play out these bad boy type of things, acting in these bad boy type of ways. And guys, they try to act like this and walk like this and talk like this. And I just see a bunch of chaos. That's what I see. It's guys in chaos trying to be like other people, trying to 
be like this bad boy, trying to act like this, trying to talk like this, trying to be indifferent like this, and it's not helping the guy, really. Guys so many times today talk about vulnerability, talk about realness, and many of them are playing out these roles. They're playing out these roles, and it's until they even wake up to the roles they're playing out that they're gonna understand that being a bad boy is not conducive even to their own growth. Because that can only get you the result. But when she comes into your life, you have to remain with that role if you want to keep her because remember, that's what you're attracting her with. So to get women, you don't have to be an asshole. You don't have to be a bad boy to get women. You don't have to. Guys believe that they do simply because they feel like that is the quickest way from pain. But it's not a necessity. It does, it's not like the other side of yourself, so to speak. It's not like the other part that you're missing. If you're somebody you would say that's really nice, you're not missing the bad boy part of yourself. You're not. You're just overextending, like I've said in many of my early videos. You're just overextending yourself. And when you stop overextending yourself, and naturally the, so to speak, bad boy type of behavior starts to play out. You stop laughing so much because you don't find anything funny. You stop trying to overinvest because you see that I don't need this woman and I have choice. You stop overextending and overinvesting, and that's the guy, so to speak, that's attractive. It's the guy who's not a guy who's gonna overinvest. He's simply there, but not overinvesting. This is why masculinity in itself is presence, being there. He's not overinvesting. He's not in the future, he's not trying to see, okay, what is the thing? No, he's, he's just there with the woman. He's not interested in building fantasies in his mind about them two. He's only interested in what's happening in this moment now. That's the difference. I'm someone who's not an asshole or a bad boy, but people can say that to me. And they can say that I'm masculine. I'm not even masculine. I just say these words so you guys can understand. I'm absolute nothingness. Okay, what's the... 20 what? Is it just 20? Okay. So when you guys go out there, I challenge you to see yourself differently. I challenge you to challenge what it means to be a bad boy to you. Whatever it is that you feel like you need to stop doing, that's the avenue to the bad boy behavior that you want. If you feel like you talk too much, the avenue to bad boy behavior, or I can say it like that, or the avenue to the bad boy behavior that you want, which is not talking so much, is simply to be okay with silence. That's the bridge. <laughs> if you wanna talk so much, then you need to become okay with silence. Why do you think I talk about becoming okay with silence? I understand on these, these things that guys want to show you guys. I understand these bad boy type of behaviors that guys want to show you. I do. I understand that they want to give you a chance to not be so nice. I understand that. But I can tell you right now that when they do it in the way that they're doing it, they're putting you in another image. And anybody that's on my channel, you know that I don't endorse images. Because I'm not even the image of anything. And anybody on here who do believe that I want to be a bad boy or a bad boy is something that I want to be, then simply go to another channel. Simply. Because it's not something that I totally live by. So challenge it. See what it is that you actually want. And what you'll notice is the bad boy behavior comes when you stop trying to overinvest in your energies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video where it was completely breaking down what many guys out there would say, you know, Tony, this bad boy thing is what I want. Many guys out there will look at this and go, you know, masculine is bad boy because it's a bunch of things guys will say. But I can tell you right now, the most true thing is nothingness. And from nothingness, total freedom, spontaneity arises. That's the most true thing that's there. I don't care what it is you try to be, masculine, bad boy, Whatever you try to be, if it's an image, 
you're playing out a role and eventually you'll have to let it go. Enjoy the women you talk to. Be spontaneous, uh, be whatever it is that is conducive to being present in this moment. I'm off to coach now, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, your days for the next days until I see you again. What I want you to do right now is go, I want you to go to, to the description box. I have a free course there. It's a free Meet the Bedroom series where I talk about everything from the approach all the way to what happens when you get to the lovely bedroom. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. See you guys.